Hello everybody, it's Vesper Star Wolf here with another video. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's like the uh, review on Morningstar. I had some other videos that I wanted to uh, edit first that I've had for like a while. And I'm just now uh, getting to this and I want I wanted uh, some time with him to, uh, you know, give him a test run, essentially. Uh, and I guess this will also be like an update video of sorts. Uh, yeah, so first off, like this is, if you've noticed the change in like recording, uh, this is our kind of storage room. It used to be my room, but then when my brother moved out, I took his room, and so we just used this room for storage. But, uh, yeah, I, I have this closet organizer thing that I got for Christmas, and I put, this is where I keep my fursuits, and this is our futon where I record my videos, and then on this wall, there's just a single painting there that I did in high, uh, college. I took it down. And I'm just going to put art on the walls. <clears throat> so uh, a lot of people have seen like my picture of Lucifer from Oh Baby on the wall. They've commented on it because it's oh, that's who Morningstar is based off of. Uh, this artwork was done by the person on Twitter, um, Michael Cosplay. And that I can't remember who did, but I mentioned it in my haul video from IFC. And then I don't know the artist of this, but it's Todoroki and Sharky got that for me for my birthday. <laughs> and then there's Feline and a fursuit head I was trying to make that I kind of gave up on because fur is expensive. And then I have some plushies, <laughs> hair tints, and Dorito their custom and then a squishmallow and then that and some other stuff and I keep all my first stuff in there anyway to start off I just want to say that Vesper's not going anywhere but I am officially retiring this suit from conventions so she's been to a lot of cons actually like only two furry cons, GFM and IFC of 2019, but she's been to a lot of local conventions and events, and it's to the point where uh, after every event I wear her to, I end up having to like re-sew her jaw, and I have to just frequently uh, sew her up because she's just, this is like a six-year-old head. So she's actually quite old. She's still in pretty good shape aside from like loose threads and you know, her innards, <laughs> her like base is kind of ripping in like right in here. Cause she's a well-loved suit, but it's, it's time for her to take a break. I'm still going to wear her for certain videos, like probably whenever I am uh, do the book reviews because, you know, she's my actual persona and reading is something I love doing. Everyone here is going to have their own niche because they each have their own thing going for them. <laughs> like Vesper, definitely probably my more personal vlogs and book related stuff. Morning star here. I've been planning some videos in the works. I'm probably gonna start talking more about Obey Me since it's one of my current passions and uh, act like demon lore and stuff. <laughs> so the channel might be start getting a lot more edgy <laughs> with this boy here. <clears throat> and then Feline is just for when I need better eyesight and when I'm like doing activities like making things so that's that for now but anyway let's get on with Morningstar first off I want to say this is an absolutely gorgeous head like the whole suit is gorgeous 
and it's so much better than I could have asked for. <laughs> Definitely worth the uh, very expensive price that I still will not tell anyone how much I actually spent on this suit. You know, he has the magnetic eyelids. Yeah, like, he is so, like, this fur, I don't know what this is, but it's like that shiny, it's like so shiny, and it is so soft. <laughs> Okay, so first I want to say, uh, De Leon, De Leon, uh, fursuits was amazing to commission. I commissioned them in J January, so the, the start of the year I commissioned them, and I had a payment plan, so they're very, uh, considerate, <laughs> especially because it was a more on the pricier side because uh the since i got a full suit and those markings and the fact that he has four four wings really uh amped up the price and then he has these curly horns um oh no so with them if you do a payment plan uh they start the suit when it's when you paid half of it off so you know uh january when i first commissioned them i put in my deposit to get the slot february i made a payment so he was uh halfway paid off uh but they were working on a couple other suits before him so they didn't start right away i think they started like late march on him and they finished in april i believe I know it took five months. <clears throat> I think they finished like early May and mailed him out and I got him like a week later. So their the turnaround time was amazingly quick because I know it's common for people to wait like six months or some people even wait like a year or years for their fursuit and which I don't think I would have been able to <laughs> handle that. I wanted him so badly. Um, their communication, spot on. They'd always get back when I message them. Um, I'm pretty sure they take the weekends off, which is amazing. <laughs> Cause I knew when to expect messages from them. They'd usually message on like a Monday or something. Every time they had a question about his design or something, they would actually message me and ask. They didn't just do, they didn't do anything without checking in with me first. So like, they asked, uh, let me take this out. You know, they asked what color is the inside of his mouth and what color is like his tongue because that stuff just wasn't uh, on his ref. I just didn't think about that kind of thing. And like the tongue, I was like, oh yeah, it's red. But I didn't know what color to make the inside of the mouth. So I was like, uh, either red or black, maybe, uh, maybe black. So it doesn't blend in with the tongue. And I was like, but you do what you think would look best. So they said they made it red because making it black might uh, would definitely like uh, it would be hard to see with the rest of the black which <laughs> my only gripes is and th this is completely a nitpick and my fault but it's so hard to see like the black on the black and it's the same with the wings up there but that's completely on my my fault because it's more of my character design I designed him with a fursuit in mind but uh some things i didn't quite think through but i'm no expert on like fursuiting design like stuff like that uh because like i made sure to make like the bottom of his legs dark and i put barely any white on him only really for accents and that's mainly because i knew i could handle it with vesper i mean she's kind of dirty but 
<laughs> like I said, she's old. Like, you just can't get some stains out. Oh, and another thing, like, they messaged me. They asked, like, what kind of teeth he had. Like, and I can't, I just sent them the, like, skeletal reference picture from the official Dutch Angel Dragon website. And they did, uh, they did what they could with that. So he actually has accurate teeth to how a Dutch he is. So th these are kind of flat. And then he has his sharp teeth. He's a good boy. And I love how they use like plastic here. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so fancy. And the eyes are so lovely painted and he's so cute. Uh, initially when sending an inquiry, I do think I said I wanted him to be like a grumpy suit, but I also said I wanted island, so I don't think you can really pull both of those off. So, uh, he ended up having just like the base expression within the grumpy eyelids, which honestly, that's fine, because I think he's adorable. <laughs> he might not be the tired, grumpy father <laughs> when he, uh, doesn't have his eyelids, but I love him anyway. He's so cute. And then I put those, well, <laughs> attempts were made. And then, you know, I just put his eyelids on and he's a grumpy boy. And I can even, uh, cheese it. Like, I wouldn't wear it, wear them to a con like this <laughs> because they're not made to go this way. So it's not really that sturdy but i can make him look all sad and tired <laughs> which i might only do that for like uh tiktoks or videos or something yeah, th these are pretty uh sturdy i haven't had them like fall off or anything and uh he, he has two tongues so, you know, he has this longer one and then he has a, a short little baby tongue like i actually didn't know he was gonna have uh, velcro tongues so that was like a nice surprise. Uh, you can see in my unboxing video of him <laughs> that I was like, oh yeah, here's his tongue. I had the long one. And then when I uh, pulled out the head, <laughs> I found he had this short one in and I was like, wait, he has two tongues. So yeah, he got little cheek fluffs and little fluff up here and the ears. So uh, Dutch Angel Dragon's like, a lot of the suits have the ears going like, directly back and initially i thought that's what i wanted but you know they, and they put them like this which is how they kind of are on his reference so they're kind of front facing they don't go like like back like a traditional dutch suit and i was worried about like them being front facing but like once i actually saw the the work in progress pictures I was like, no, that actually looks really good. So I was, I was just like, yes. And then I saw him in person. I was like, no, that was a good choice. And he has his like little white floofs around that. And the horns, oh my goodness, probably better than I could have hoped for. Cause I was very particular about the shape of them. Because as I've mentioned before, he's in, the design and character is inspired by Lucifer from Obey Me. So I have these horns that look like this, and then Lucifer horns look like that. And no one, no one in the fandom knows how the horns work. We're all just guessing. So I just had to hope. <laughs> and I think it turned out good. Initially, uh, when I got the work in progress, they were flipped so instead of going like in they were going out and i was like hey um uh, the horns are supposed to go the other way and the land's like oh i think i put them on wrong and they like same day they just flipped them <laughs> so and then sent the whip again uh the work in progress again and i was like yeah that looks actually really good yeah, and they're really sturdy. Like, I was worried. Because they're, like... I'm pretty sure they're, like, uh, foam. And... But, like, where this line is, it's, like... I don't know what it is. Like, some kind of hard foam. 
And they're like really sturdy. Boing. Boing. And just the shape is so good. And I was concerned that he was going to be super heavy, but he surprisingly isn't. Cause I, my first fursuit head was like a head I got on eBay for 30 bucks. And it was, I think it was an anime character from an anime I never saw, but it's like this big orange head with a huge muzzle, sharp teeth, and it had these long ears that came down. And even, like, it had this huge, like, mass of wig hair coming down. I had to remove that because it actually, like, hurt the top of my head when I wore it. And even when I took it off, it was so heavy, I think because of the ears and just whatever. But he is so light. <laughs> like, I'm surprised with, like, how he has these large ears and the horns. But he is so light and comfortable. Like, I don't even know. I don't even realize uh, he has those big ears and horns. I don't even realize it until I move a certain way and I can feel them, like, jiggle. <laughs> comfortable to wear too. I know in the video I commented that he felt a little tight in the front, but I've gotten used to that so quickly. And I think my, uh, the reason why is because Vesper, which is probably, which is like the only suit I've had for like, like I said, like six years. No, Vesper, uh, I can't remember how she fit on me in the beginning. I think she might've actually been kind of tight. But over the years, she's just really uh, loosened up. Like I said, her base is kind of tearing and it's kind of making the head like looser on me. So I feel like I just wasn't used to like a form fitted <laughs> fursuit head in like so long, but he's actually really comfortable. My, it's just, ah, I love him. So now that I rambled on his head for so long, I'll get to the tail. I don't want to say any, like, problems I do have with the suit are probably nitpicks, but, uh. So, uh. Yeah. So, one thing is. <laughs> yeah. And also, I want to say this is actually a, like, a grayish. A gray. But I know in pictures and stuff it looks kind of brown. But it's gray. So, I wanted a detachable tail. Because. I like to partial a lot and also I was worried with the wings it would either be too heavy or would make packing it up for travel difficult. This is my Pokemon belt. Uh, so it has two straps. Uh, very large, very handsome. And like I noticed like, like the day after I got it, not even immediately, that there is a zipper on the tail in here. So if I want to uh, remove the stuffing for uh, cleaning, I can do that. So that's really handy. And they threw in like, <coughs> for no extra charge, I think, and they threw in a wrist strap. They asked if I wanted one. And I went ahead with that. So it's removable too, I think. I went ahead and <clears throat> agreed to that because I suit a lot of places that are probably dirty. Like, I don't just suit at convention, like furry cons. I'll suit at local conventions that are kind of like comic cons or uh, for like anything, kind of anything conventions and events like parades and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> So, I definitely needed a strap to keep Mateo clean. Then you have his beautiful feathers. I love my design for uh, his feather, tail feathers. Uh, cause I did kind of, with the design, I kind of uh, tried to keep that kind of like peacock inspired uh, design because that's Lucifer's symbolic animal. And so, you know, Morningstar has peacock feather markings and then his feathers are kind of meant to be peacockish. Um, 
My only gripe is that they're separated like this. And they just kind of look, they kind of go everywhere. I would have probably preferred if they were like attached into like one thing. I might sew it or I'll think about that. I don't know if I want to do that. Which I didn't like request that either. So it's no fault of, it's no fault of uh, my maker. So the paws, oh, that's a, I made a little uh, needle felted fursuit ring. <clears throat> so as I mentioned in the unboxing video, they are big, but I have small hands. And, you know, if they were any smaller, they would probably look ridiculous. <laughs> They'd probably look funny with the full suit. But, like, I don't care that they're large. Because they're supposed to be. And, like I said, the best paws I've ever owned. Because, uh, Vesper's paws, I don't really... I'm not really a fan of. And my only other pair is, like, a cheap cosplay pair so like it has plush pads super soft and the design is just right but yeah and uh you know they have i don't think this is this called lining i don't think it's called lining but it's sewed around <laughs> And he has claws. I was really hoping he would have claws because, like, Vesper doesn't have claws on her suit. And I just love claws so much because of who he's designed after. Lucifer's nails are painted red. So I was like, you know, I that was a must. He had to have those bright red, beautiful claws. And they're so soft. I'm just like, yes. And I like how... Uh, here it's like a shorter fur so it's not like and then it's a bit longer on top so soft i love it uh here says padding super nice like it's just like polyfill or something they go in really easily and they're easy to just like move around if i need to uh the only thing I'm not really a fan of is how they attach. I mean, I like the Velcro, but uh, inside the suit, um, I can show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Uh, you can't, you probably can't see. Inside the suit, there's just like a tiny Velcro flap. Like, you can't really, maybe, uh, see this, like, a little flap? And that's just, that's the o only thing <laughs> keeping them in. And every time I take them out, I feel like it's gonna rip off. Um, uh, I think it'd be easier if, like, it wasn't, like, a flap and it was just attached all the way around. But that's just a minor detail. So they even asked me like fur lengths and they told me what their suit, uh, the lengths of their suit. And I actually requested like something similar. So this is like the shorter, I don't know if it's half inch or one inch. It might be half inch. Uh, so it's like shorter and which this is actually keeps cool better. And then for the chest, I wanted the longer stuff, and then for the bottom of the legs, it has longer fur, just like under the tail, because the, uh, I wanted him to have almost a Clydesdale look, even though he's more so based off of a Mawari horse, which is why his ears kind of curl inwards like that. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a neat kind of horse. So, another nitpick, which is my fault, is he does have a bit of a dropped crotch, but that's because my duct tape dummy was the first one I made, and it was kind of hard uh, to make it. 
somehow it ended up being a bit longer but when I put the suit on it's not really that bad like I don't really mind it because some suits just have a dropped crotch oh my lords these markings which you know everyone that I showed a morning stars design to and I was like yeah I want to get this character uh as a suit they're like oh that's gonna be impossible no one's gonna be able to do that or you're gonna have to get airbrushing but no they actually they actually got his markings and they're the same on both sides so that's two uh two of these swirly markings <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so amazed with the work they did. I remember uh, on Twitter, I saw them posting like the whips of it, talking about how this took them like eight, like took them like 18 hours or something like that to hand sew. This is hand sewn. And I'm just amazed. <laughs> they did my boy such good justice. And like I said, these uh, peacock-inspired design, even though I think my design kind of struggles with looking like a peacock. Oh yeah, and um, another thing is, I know when you get a new suit, a lot of times they'll have uh, busted seams or something. Because it, it's only natural, like once you start wearing it and like moving around and stuff, the seams will kind of bust and you just have to re-sew them i haven't had that issue i haven't really worn him too much i feel like that might change when i start wearing pecans or something i've put him on and taken him off like a lot of times filmed a couple tiktoks wearing him and like i haven't had any issues i mean i've heard like i've heard like the seams pulling <laughs> but I don't think I've had one bust on me, but in my opinion, that's just the suit getting broken in. Okay, so the back. And here, you can see more of those gorgeous markings. Absolutely beautiful. And, um, uh, just like, just like my design too. And, interesting thing about these is, uh, you know, I had... The shape and everything's right, uh, from my initial design, kind of, but when I commissioned the fursuit reference from an artist on Etsy, they kind of changed up the marking slightly, like, I believe these were going out instead of in, and they thickened up the lines, and I like the design a lot more than my own, so I just kind of left them and it turned out for the best. Another thing they, that uh, artists did that I wasn't initially a fan of was they brought the black down when his wings were supposed to touch the gray. And this is talking about the artist that did my ref, not DeLeon. They did amazing work. <laughs> but I didn't say anything because they had a lot of mistakes on the ref that I had to have them change and I just got tired of having keep having the change and the communication wasn't good with that artist. Part of me wishes I, I had kind of changed it to have the gray, but I think it looks good with the black. I feel like the gray would have left it look too bare, but at the same time, the wings get kind of lost in it, lost in the sauce. But at the same time, I think it looks good because it's like they're coming out of the black. Yeah, and it's just hard to see in pictures and uh, uh, video, but in person it looks fine. And I think in good lighting it would probably look amazing, like all the shiny black. But that's that. Um, I'll try and wrap this up really quick. The hole where the tail goes, I think it's, I do think it's kind of too big, but I don't know if that's just like normal, 
a normal sized hole for a fursuit tail. Because I'm... I, I feel like a lot of the times you can't still see my booty in there. But that's just a minor nitpick. And... Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the hooves. So these are super comfy. I don't have any complaints. They fit perfectly. I got outdoor feet paws since I do a lot of outdoor stuff. And they're built on crops, which is amazing. So they're super comfy. Can't really see in there. Uh, they don't really have a indicator on which is the left foot and which is the right. So you, I have to kind of guess uh, but it's like a minor thing. All in all, I still like give the suit a 10 out of 10. I love him. I think he is so perfect, even with like the minor nitpicks I said. And I absolutely 100% would commission <laughs> De Leon for suits again. Uh, I mean, wouldn't for like a long while. <laughs> like this. He's probably going to be my main suit for a long time. But would, would love to uh, get a Neopet suit from DeLeon in the future. They have a they have a thing where if you wa are wanting a Neopet for a suit, you, auto like, you, you get a slot. You don't have to worry about the competition. <laughs> so, sorry this video is probably so long. But anyway, that's my boy. I hi I would highly recommend uh, commissioning De Leon fursuits if you are, you know, if you're looking for a good quality, good communication type of fursuit maker. Highly recommend. <laughs> and and this was my first time commissioning a fursuit. All my other ones were pre-mades. So I feel like this was an amazing, great first time experience commissioning one. I'm so happy everything worked out the way it did. Uh, highly recommend. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching the video if you stayed around this long. Sorry if it was rambly and took a while because th there's a lot of stuff to go over. I love him so much though. <laughs> And plus, like, the update part in the beginning, because I feel like that kind of stuff needed to be said as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! <laughs>